Welcome back. I'm a little bit wobbly. I don't know why I'm wobbly because I'm holding my phone, that's why. I just wanted to say hello, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway for ages, but I've got two planned. This is the first one. I'm going to be giving away a $50 Madam Glam gift voucher. It's open internationally. It's I'll tell you what it is. They emailed me. A, the, they emailed me the voucher, the gift card, before Christmas as a thank you. And I I don't know if any of you remember, but Madame Glam done, I'm pretty sure it was a birthday thing that they done. And me and someone else got the chance to win a, um, a gift card. And I think it was like $300. And I've still got over $100 of that left. So I don't need them both. So I thought this one, because my other one, I've got like some random am amount left on it. So I thought, well, I'll give away the $50 one because it's like a nice $50. It's like a nice amount. So, yeah, so it's going to be open internationally. So I will pick a winner. Um, What's the date? Tuesday, maybe next week. All you need to do is be subscribed. A share would be very much appreciated and give the video a like that's it simples but anyway on with the video i'm going to be doing a set of marble nails today i love a marble and i feel like i haven't done a marble for a long time so we're going to make them a little bit valentine's -y with some nail sugar decals and a little bit of hand painted stuff and a little bit of crystals so yeah enjoy bye hello everyone righty ho we are back i've got some of the colors from madam glam that they um released just recently from their amor tints collection i think that's what it was called i'm going to be using berry blush as the base color for uh the nails and we're gonna do right if you want to do two coats you can i i'm just gonna do one and I got the gel polish to cover quite nicely with one coat. If you do this on like a real client and you're finding that it's a bit patchy, you might want to do two coats. However, your marble will probably be enough to cover any patchy bits. So I'm going to continue with the other two nails. So we've got four nails of berry blush and then I will cure them in a lamp. This colour is called Glazed Amour. I've also got Love's Veil and Loyal, which I don't know if it's white or a really light pink. I can't decide. It's probably a white, but there we go. And I've got Lace Lilac as well. So I'm going to put these. This is what I do when I do marbles. You can apply your blooming gel to your nails first, but I'm going to do that afterwards. I'm putting a little line of each of my colours onto my palette. So that they're, look, they're all close to each other. I wish I'd used, I wish I'd not used a berry blush because I feel like it's, because this pink's quite dark as well, the shimmery one, it looks really nice in them. Right, this is Madame Glam's Blooming Gel. What you need to do is, you need to apply a nice thin even coat of blooming gel all over the nails that you want to do your marble on. I'm going to do a marble on all of the nails, which is why I've got quite a lot of gel polish on my palette. So also you're going to need an ombre brush and I just like to wiggle my dotting tool through the gel polish like that. You don't have to do it. It just helps it marble a little bit more. Um, I probably wouldn't have done it. If I was going to do this again, I wouldn't do it because they... I, I feel like the colours sort of smudge into each other a bit too much, but... It still looks okay. So right, using my ombre brush, I'm going to just scoop up some of the colour and then you just literally float the gel polish over the blooming gel. Don't brush it on, you kind of float it over. And then if you need more, just scoop a little bit more up and then just wiggle some more on. And I'm going to leave that like that. And what's going to happen is you're going to start to see the gel polish bloom. So as we work on the other nails, the blooming gel is going to do its thing on that first nail. 
This one I'm just doing in a random, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I just felt like the berry blush and the, the white in that line kind of blended together to make a pink that was similar to the pink that we already had on there. So, uh, yeah, I'd probably think again about the colours I've used here. However, I'm not angry with the marble. If you're finding that you've got the, the, the gel polish on your brush is becoming like too smudged together, just wipe it off and start again. Uh, you'll find that I do that a couple of times. Just reload your brush. Can you see that that... F I don't know if you can see very well. Can you see the marble? The the bloom... The marble started to bloom on that last nail. This... On the first nail, sorry. This nail, I'd done the marble a lot higher up the nail. You can do the whole nail if you want. But I was sort of trying to start about three... About a quarter of the way down the nail on all of them. But it kind of... It, you know, it didn't quite work that way. But can you see the other nails have started to bloom? Like here... I just think it looks really nice. Once I'm happy, I pop them in... Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Right, before you pop them in the lamp, we're just going to remove any excess gel polish. So because you add quite a lot of gel polish to marble nails, I will take a lint-free wipe and just dab it up against the side of the nail and then carefully, slowly pull away. And what's going to happen is that's just going to remove any excess gel polish and it's also going to help that marble spread a bit. There wasn't masses on this one. There was one of them that I'd done. There was quite a lot of excess gel polish on. It's also going to stop any wrinkling. Sometimes if you have too thick gel polish on the nail, the light from your lamp won't penetrate all the way through the gel polish. So the top part of the gel polish will end up cured and underneath will be uncured. And that's when you get that wrinkling. And also, you know, it can end up, you know, if your client picks it or whatever, it can end up, they can end up with uncured gel polish on their skin and... You know, it could be a disaster. If you wear gloved nails, uh, uh, sorry, if you have gloved fingers, you can just like tap your glove up against the nail. But because my nails, my hands aren't gloved, I'm going to use um, the wipes. And then once I'm happy, I will pop them in the lamp for a cure. Okay, these decals are the, uh, was it XOXO decals from Nail Sugar? I'm going to use a couple of the black ones. I'm going to cut the excess away from around the decal. And then what I like to do is place them upside down on a stamper. If you dampen the back, the, you'll see that the decal will soak up the water. This one might not because I've probably put too much water on the back. But after several seconds, what's going to happen is you'll be going to be able to peel the backing off the decal. And then if I like, I usually just like dab it with my finger just to get off any excess water. And then I will stamp this onto my nail where I want it. So I'm going to do two. They're going to be at an angle. So I'm going to slightly, like I'm going to kind of, what's the word? Yeah, angle it slightly. The other one that I add, I'm going to angle in the other direction. Um, while we are doing this, I will let you know that you can save 10% on nail sugar products using my code NATMUG10. And you can also save 30% on Madam Glam using my code NATMUG30. Um, on the other two nails that I haven't put decals, I'm going to just add... Um, I saw these on a set of nails and I can't remember who... Hang on, let me just see if I can find it so that I can let you know. It's li It was literally just one part of the of a set of nails that I saw. Oh, it was Nails by... I don't know how to say it. I'll put it on the screen. It's Nails by D-U-N-J-A-H-A-B-S-S-A-O-U-I. I have no idea how to say that. But she had like an XOXO on her nails. And I thought, oh, that's quite nice. So um, I am doing um, the X's in white. I've just realised that hers are in white as well. And the O's in pink. And I'm using Madame Glam's gel paints to do this. Because I just find finer, finer, finer lines easier to do with gel paints. As opposed to gel polish. But you do with... I was going to say, you do it with what you please. You do with it what you please, but that doesn't make sense. Do whatever you find easier to work with. Or if you don't have gel paints, just use gel polish because they will do the same. You just have to... I just find them a little bit more tricky to work with, but yeah. Right, once I'm happy, I will pop these in the lamp for 60 seconds because the gel paints need a 60 second cure because they are um, thicker and more opaque. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other nail that we haven't done anything with, but this time the XOXO is gonna go in the opposite direction. So see, we've done that, there we go. And they're cured. Right, I am going to velvet matte top coat these because I want to add a little crystal cluster. You do not have to velvet matte top coat. You can shiny top coat. If you're gonna shiny top coat, I would recommend that you apply your crystals first and then top coat around them so that they uh, just gives them a little bit more longevity. This is the crystal cluster that I am going to add to the nails. Um, there's a, a lady called Bling Little Claws on Instagram. I absolutely love her nails. She done a crystal cluster very similar to this. This is actually my crystal placement. My crystal cluster here was inspired by her her nails, her crystal cluster on her nails. Um, but if you're not following her, Bling Little Claws claws with a k and um, go and find her on instagram because her nails are amazing i'm using some these are fuchsia zodiac shapes there's zodiac flame and zodiac pear and then these little um raindrops are also zodiac ab crystals and then the um, I'm using Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix. These are all available from the Crystal Parade and you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. The Zodiac Crystals are their more affordable range of crystals. These uh, AB Round Crystals that I'm placing on now are Preciosa's um, AB Crystals. Preciosa is my favourite brand of crystal that I've used to date. Oh, actually, and Swarovski, but Swarovski, yeah, yeah. You can't get those anymore, I don't think, unless you're... Uh, well, you can. Some people still sell them, but they're quite expensive. So um, Preciosa, in my opinion, are a really good alternative um, of the ones I've used. I know there are other brands out there that are equally as good, but I would recommend these ones. Um, so look, I've placed those on and I'm going to pop those in the lamp for 60 seconds. Uh, you can add caviar beads if you want. I'm not going to bother. I am going to wipe over the crystals with some isopropyl alcohol. It just gets rid of any like wax residue or fingerprints. And it just makes the crystals look really sparkly and lovely. Oh, look at them. I love them. I'll show you a quick close up. But that's them done. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Don't forget about the giveaway. So please make sure you subscribe and like and share. And I think that's it. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Also, if you're not in my Facebook group, Natalie Magrid Nail Artist on YouTube, do come and find me because I'd love to see you there. God bless. See you soon.